Hello once again. On today's video, define the use of a report writer in an application. This is our goal for today. We define what a report writer is. We download the Jaspersoft Studio, the Community Edition. We install it. We download the JDBC driver from DB2 Cloud and install the JDBC DB2 driver. For our start, let us define first what is a report writer. It is essentially a tool in presenting the content of a table or of a data database. It generates invoice, billing statement, and official receipts. Most often, it is also used in presenting information to stakeholders, users, clients. The most popular report writers that you could uh, use, the most popular is the Crystal Reports. This is, develop, this is owned by SAP. Microsoft has also its own uh, report writers, which is called the Reporting Services, or other known as SSRS. And the things that we're going to use is the Jasper Studio of Jaspersoft by owned by Tibco because it comes with a community edition which we can freely install on our PC. Just a quick look on how a report writer works. Here we try to connect to a database system which is DB2 on cloud. Here we could also download the Java database uh, connectivity driver for DB2, which will be used by Jaspersoft in connecting on our DB2 cloud. Now let us download the Jaspersoft Studio. Click this one. So we go on the free version, so we try to download the community edition. Click this one. Here we choose the Jaspersoft Studio community edition. We click the download. And for my system, I will choose the exe file the 64-bit version, click this one. And um, <clears throat> if this would be your first time to use JasperSoft, you need to register by email and email address. On my case, I have already an account in JasperSoft, so I'll just enter my uh, email address. and my password. Okay, so we'll just wait for this to finish. Okay, let us do the installation. And we're done. The last two remaining tasks we need to do is to download and install the JDBC, JDBC driver. We go now on cloudibm.com. Okay, for those of you who are first time user of IBM Cloud, I'll create a link on 
on the step by step on how to create an IBM Cloud account uh, on the comment section. So you have a link to work with on how to create an IBM account. On my case, I have already an, an account in IBM. I'll just log in. Found your services. Complete my database account. Make sure that you have created your credentials. If you have not uh, done your service credential, you just click this one, service credential. And you need to create a new credential. And if we have your new credentials, you can view your credentials here. And the necessary information that we we'll use later on will be available for us. Now we go back on Manage and click Open Console. You click now the hamburger icon and you go on Connection Info. You click the Connection Information. And here you have a tab for Linux, Mac, Power, Linux, and Windows. We choose now Windows. And here uh, we have the instruction on how to download the driver package. On our examples, we will not use an SSL. So we just choose the without SSL. And we download the driver package download this one and we just wait for this to complete if this is true already you just double click this one and you have the start of the installation you just click next I accept click next click next Click install. Say yes. So you're done with your installation of the JDBC driver.